Hey there, Lickin' Riffers, and welcome back to yet another awesome electric guitar soloing lesson here on Lickin' Riff, in which I'm gonna get you completely hooked on jazz chromatics. Now, the words jazz and chromatics might sound like it's gonna be super complicated and advanced, but even though it is advanced, it's not complicated at all. It's actually very playable, very understandable, and it's a lot of fun. It's really a lot of fun because it enhances your musicality and it's basically just another tool to get under your fingers and help your soloing become a lot more musical and beautiful. So jazz chromatics, okay, let's use the pentatonic scale as usual as our basis. So if we're on seven, okay, we have B minor pentatonic. So if we're on seven, we have 10 and seven on strings one and two, and we have nine and seven on the next three strings, and we have 10 and seven again on the sixth. So, okay, our pentatonic scale, our best friend as a guitar player. So if we want to add chromatics, we're basically adding all the rest of the notes. The jazziness is the way that the chromatics are being implemented. So when I'm saying all the notes, I mean all the notes. I mean 10, 9, 8, 7 on every string. Okay? And so on and so forth. But this is not how we're gonna play it. Okay? I don't mean just painting the scale uh, with chromatics. Hey, okay? this is not what I mean. What I mean is something like this. Hey, okay? something like this. Something where you still hear the pentatonic scale. You still hear, but you also hear all the notes in between. It's just another soloing tool. And the idea is to paint around the notes. Okay, paint around the scale notes. So my first lick on the first string was 10, seven, and then nine, eight, seven. You can still hear the pentatonic line. And then on the second string, you can play 10, 7, and then 8, 9. And then you can just play a pentatonic line. Right? Doesn't really matter where you go from there. Right? You added chromatics. Now, I also did another variation which used an extra line, okay, after the 10, which was the same line on the first string, 10, 7, 9, 8, 7. And then I added 11 slide to 10 on the second string, and then 7 again on the first. And then you can basically do it again. You see? It's just adding chromatics. And when you do it like this, when you paint around the soloing notes, your, your, your scale notes are still the target here. You always aim for a scale note. So if you have seven, you can even do five, six, seven. Yeah, you see, the, the, the ending of the solo was still a pentatonic blues line. Now when you go for the third string, something really interesting happens because you already have 10 on the third string as a blue note, okay? The pentatonic blues scale, okay, already has this chromatic line, okay? 10 on the third string. So what you can do is you can do 10, Seven, eight, nine. 
or you can do what you did on the first string. Okay, it all works. It all works, depending on the solo that you want to play, which note you want to lead into. Now, you can also do this. Okay? This is a really interesting line because it's still chromatic. You can play the chromatic notes that are outside the scale and then the notes that are inside the scale. So the notes that are inside the scale on strings two and three are seven and nine. So you can play eight and 10 and then seven and nine. Okay, any way you want. You see? And immediately you get that chromatic jazziness. Okay, I just played 10 and 7. And then I added. Okay? You can also do it from below. You can play 6 and uh, 6 and 8. Okay? You can play the scale and then. Okay? Okay? You see? And you don't have to do it all the time. You don't have to play all the chromatics all the time. Before I continue, I want to remind you that you have 25% off of all my courses for the summer. 25% off. Go to lickandref.com slash courses and you can get the Break Your Boundaries course program. All 14 courses that I have right now and every month I release a new one. Okay, All 14 courses for 25% off okay, for the whole summer. And there's also a guitar giveaway going on. So lickandref.com slash courses. Check it out. You see? Now, if you play blues, you can also land on the major note. Okay? You can also... You can also land on eight on the third string because that's the major note. I talked about this in the mixing major and minor uh, scales lessons. So you can add to that. You can use chromatics to add to that note. You can play, okay, instead of uh, 10, 7, 8, 9, you can play 9, 6, 7, 8. You see? It works. It adds a lot more color. Now you can take this anywhere. You can use it, okay, it's a tool. You can use this to paint around your solos no matter where they are. Even in different positions, different pentatonic positions. You see? The chromatics work anywhere. And depending on the chords that you're playing, depending on the chords that you're soloing over, okay, you always want to remember that you're targeting your scale notes. You're targeting your scale notes. For example, if you have, let's say, E minor, then your note, okay, your target note might be the eight on the second string. So you can do something like this. Okay? You can just paint around it. You can play 7, 10, 9, 8. You can play 10, 9, 7, 8. Okay? 
and you just keep playing according to the genre that you're playing, according to the rhythm that you're playing. Okay, this works really well with heavy metal as well. If you speed it up, it sounds really cool. Um, if you add distortion and speed it up, it just becomes chromatics and it just becomes extra color. So use this and, um, and I recommend trying this on every solo until you become fluent with it until you know where you want to add it because again you don't you shouldn't overuse this you can use this just once in an entire solo and it would be perfect okay so just uh do it according to your own taste just sprinkle those chromatics in there right so i'll see you in the next lesson bye for now enjoy <laughs>